Good morning. It is Venus's birthday today and we're starting it with a walk on the heather. As you saw, Venus and Hunter already had a morning play session on the sofa whilst we ate our breakfast. It's 8.30 right now and we'll go for about an hour's hike. It will be around five kilometers or so. And as you can see, Venus is wearing a leather harness. Um, I ordered some leather to make leashes and collars for um, Christmas gifts for family, but this leather didn't turn out the way I wanted it to. Quality isn't soft or sturdy, but I decided to try out making harnesses and then ordering leather <clears throat> that is good quality so that I don't ruin the good quality leather when trying out making some harnesses. So yesterday I ordered one strip of leather to see if it's straight and I added some free color samples so we can see which colors we like and then I can make some harnesses for Venus Hunter and Mojo and a friend of mine said she also wanted some so I have to figure out how to make those because it's not easy to make these harnesses without having a dog present um, so I have to figure out how to have my friends measure them um, especially because this particular friend lives in Brazil um, so I'll probably make one that fits Venus because she owns Venus's daughter and then she can try that on the three female dogs that she has and then tell me which dog fits it and which doesn't and what needs to change for the other dogs. Um, well yeah, it's difficult to get good harnesses in Brazil so it would be a great solution if I can just make her some. Now if you want to know why Venus is wearing a muzzle you can check two videos back. I uploaded a video on Sunday explaining why. Sometimes when we both walk one dog, I don't muzzle Venus or I don't muzzle Mojo because I'll be able to pick my dogs up um, if I'm only walking one. Um, that's also why Yardi chooses not to muzzle Hunter. If there's a dog coming, he'll pick him up anyways. Um, not even just to pre prevent a fight, but also to prevent any interactions that are unwanted uh, for training purposes because we never know what another dog might do and Hunter is still very young um, but Venus I know she is not interested in dogs approaching her when she's on lead and there's a chance she might bite so a muzzle is easy um, but sometimes I don't muzzle her and then I do pick her up just to prevent any damage from a dog that is owned by an irresponsible owner because this is a leash law area and there are just people walking ahead of us with some off-leash labradors um, and there are plenty of off-leash spaces here as well so they could choose to walk there but they don't but yeah if you want some more in-depth explanations then check out that video I didn't finish. I made Venus a harness myself because all the harnesses she's worn previously push in her trachea when she pulls and on hikes she's allowed to pull so I wanted to be comfortable and I haven't been able to find harnesses that are really perfect for more Staffords dogs that are stocky and short short in the back wide in the front wide necks and we'll see if She's smelling something now, so if she will start pulling, I'm very curious to hear if it still harms the trachea or not. Now this morning we're following Venus's nose as much as possible. Of course, if she wants to turn around after 10 minutes, we're not following her. But um, yeah, because it's her birthday, we're letting her decide the route. 
um, and then that should make her happy for the first couple of hours of the day and later on I'll probably do flirt ball or fetch with her and an off-lead walk um, near our house so she'll get plenty of exercise and uh, yeah be happy afterwards <laughs> Let's go. Check lane around. Oh, pass off. Winter. Nice open, hè? Wat is te zien? Wat heb je gezien? Kijk maar. Kijk So far so good. She hasn't pulled much yet, but I haven't heard any sound from her, so that's great. Finish. Nice. That's what you are. So just after I arrived home from the forest, Anka called me or texted me to ask if I wanted to do something and we decided to go to her field and have an afternoon of sports. So that's even better to celebrate Venus's birthday and Anka's dog's birthday is next day as well. So it's a celebratory event of sorts. So Venus is wearing her hot up parka and so are Anka's dogs and they are in the car still. They're all in a crate for safety purposes. And we just set up the long jump. So Venus is up first and we set the long jump to three meters. And then we'll use a five meter run up maximum to standardize. And then 
this is the distance that she'll be jumping she's done that quite often um, and this is her black star level so yeah she even has a place to hang her coats perfect it's kind of like glamping in dog sports all right she jumped way over the frame <laughs> so we increased the distance a bit and she's allowed to have fun <laughs> come finny nee She just jumped 325 and we've now increased it to 340. She's abusing the football at the moment. Finn? Hello? Hi! Oh yeah! Yeah! Take this! Listen! Come and see. Stay. Nou, nog één keer en dan uh, is het prima geweest, denk ik. Blijf. Nee, nee, nee. Kom eens hier. Kom hier. Venus, kom hier. Stay. Goed zo. En ging ze het klaar staan een keer, hè? <laughs> ja, hoe we kunnen staan, hè? jumped 315 a couple times we basically want to up the base jump as high as possible wachten kom eens hier kom hier blijf ah. <laughs> and then on a tournament she can we can trial her to do a little bit higher than her base jump but base as long as the base jump is as high as a black star that's basically what the job dog will jump out of muscle memory so working on increasing that is always nice so she jumps 15 centimeters over black star level as a base jump now um, so that's what we'll keep doing and then if we do a tournament she can do more um, after doing that base jump basically happy little mice oh yeah Een beetje maar. Ben je er klaar voor? Ja! Oh, goed zo! Super! Ietsje meer. Ga je hem pakken? Ga je hem pakken? Het boeit hem ook niet, hè? hij wil gewoon jagen. Stom plastic zakje. Oh ja, ja. Nou, kan je het bekijken, kerel? Ja, nu. Zoals. Wachten. <laughs> en hij heeft een hele um, brede ribbenkast en een, lang, een korte achterkant. Ja, ja, ja. ja. Oh, oh, kerel. <laughs> Weer wat dichterbij. Hij dient terug. Ja, dat is veel beter, kerel. Jij vindt dat heel mooi. We hebben ook iets te wild. Huh? Right, so this is Barb's first time jumping in Black Star. She just nailed it, so I'm gonna try to film it. I may mess it up, but yeah.
So if you didn't know, this is Berep, Quinland's little engine and she's Venus's daughter. Out of a litter of six, Hunter is her son. She's now 16 months old, 16 and a half, something like that. And she's absolutely crazy. So is the owner. So today I'm wearing these waterproof pants from Arc Outdoor and a fleece. I'm also wearing their coat, but it's way too warm to have that on at the moment. And I just picked out a black fur pole so it matches, so Anka can take some pictures. After a long jump, it was time for some flirt pull for Venus so Anka could take some pictures. I didn't have my phone on me, but I did have my camera, so I took some better footage. And now Bep found the flirt pull and is having fun on her own as well. <laughs> Whilst Anka is hanging up the high jump setup, so she will be doing some high jump with her dogs. Venus doesn't really like it. She just does like to jump high, but only for the slurp pole, not for a tug toy on uh, a spring. So I don't offer it to her because she's just not interested. And I'll be taking some pictures and also filming a little bit and I'll eat an apple. That absolutely loves the tug toy on a slurp pole. So Anka hangs it up with the slurp pole attached. And then she can also do hang time straight after jumping. Goed zo, kom op hè. Kom, 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 kom. 
the time on the field with some trick training for Venus. Turn. That. That. Yes. That. Mira. Hi. And then we're on our way back home. Hello, Frinja. Hi, Fini. So I'm back home and uh, just hunt her for now because Mojo's in her crate. She's on crate rest and I'm slowly upping her walking distances again because she was uh, limping quite badly. Um, so she had a week of crate rest, some extra medication. And she now has to stay quite calm. She really wants to say hi, so I'm gonna let her. Let her sniff me. Hi, <laughs> Lisa. So I won't take her out straight after I get home because she's super excited and um, she can't really jump at the moment. I don't want to allow her to do that. She's now off of that extra medication. It just has a regular joint um, joint medication and uh, she's doing well. <laughs> she's so happy that we're all back home. But I don't let her out of the cage when Hunter is here with her because then she will play a lot. So, And she was in the crate when we were gone. And that's also why she didn't join us to the forest this morning because she can't walk long dis distances yet. She'll be back in a bit. Right, Mojo? Right, Mojo? Hi. Fini, hello, birthday girl. All right, so I'm preparing Venus's dinner. And just put all the food on a plate. I'm adding the supplements right now. So here we've got magnesium powder. Then this is some kelp. I've got fish oil and this is a skin supplement, fur supplement and finally another muscle supplement. So here you go. Now you'll see her eating this meal in Tuesday's video. What we've got here is a rabbit head, some lamb trachea pieces, green vegetable blend and here we have some beef kidney some deer liver, some lamb heart, lamb fat, and some venison. All right, so this is Venus's birthday meal. And if you want to see her eat it, you can check out Tuesday's video. Tomorrow. the evening now and we just went out for a short walk and Mojo and Hunter had their dinner as well and now it's time for a snack so they can relax and then it's bedtime. 
So I just picked five huge snacks from the stock of Bella Box snacks that we have. And Venus can select which ones she wants. It's okay. Snacks might not have looked as big. But now she's standing next to them. <laughs> you can see how big they are. Is it that one? I think that's the biggest and heaviest in there. <laughs> All right, I'm going to take her inside. <laughs> 